Hello and happy Monday. I am Chris Robin, a.k.a. at Detroit Beastie, here with Team Riser Fall to talk about Monday night football. The New Orleans Saints head to Seattle in what should be another weird game. This is the week leading up to Halloween, so let's do it. Hang here, and we'll be right back. Hey, hello, and we are back. Once again, I'm Chris Robin, a.k.a. at Detroit Beastie, here with Team Riser Fall to talk about Monday Night Football. The New Orleans Saints head to Seattle to take on the Seahawks in what should be a very logical game. There's a lot of things that are going to happen exactly how we think it's going to happen. So wherever you are, hopefully there's some sort of sun hitting your face because right now in Michigan, it's gloomy, it's rainy, it's very much an October-ish kind of day here. But before we get into the game, just make sure you go to Team Riser Fall, like, share, subscribe. You know the deal. And look at the graphic. It's a, a, a spooky Halloween graphic here. You got the ghost and the pumpkin. I got the pumpkin head in the back here as well. So again, $9.99 a week, only $29.99 a month, whatever you want to do. And I'm telling you, I say it in every video, but that's how I mean it here. The Discord at Team Riser Fall, it's free. And that's where all the, the interworkings of the lineup construction is going. Build, build, compete and love what we're doing that's what we're about here at team riser fall so uh let's get to the game i mean right it's it's monday i don't know where you are right now while you're watching this are you in the office are you in the bathroom i don't know where you are but hopefully if you're not somewhere where there's sun hopefully this video can bring you know a smile to your face and it might maybe it'll thicken the wallet as well and we go from there so again new orleans is in seattle the line opened at about 44 in terms of the over under Right now, at this moment in time, it's sitting at 42 and a half. So that kind of tells the story what way the money's going, the sharps and the, the professional betters in Las Vegas. And look, I, I think that regardless of, even if the over-under stayed at 44, I'd still be fine betting the over in this one. So let's get right into to Geno Smith. I stutter and stammering because uh, it's shocking, right? I, I tweeted out this morning, Monday morning. I didn't think that uh, I'd have to make a Geno Smith DFS graphic uh, ever at all. I, I've never made one before, and after today, I don't know if I'll ever make one again. So let's take it in, and, and Gino, hopefully you can do something somewhat special for us. So Gino, uh, at home against the Saints. The Saints are very stout against opposing quarterbacks. They're second overall. So Gino Smith going to have some sort of a, a hard time today, tough sledding, as they say. Gino, 14000 bucks on FanDuel, only $9,400 on DraftKings. And once again, these are all flex prices. On FanDuel, they stay the same. But on DraftKings, that's where you get the bump. So as it stands, every price I, I call out on DraftKings tonight is just a flex price. So I have him. I, I got my notes. I know everybody loves those. I'll share those along with this video here. But I have Geno Smith for about 23, 24 completions. A healthy 256 uh, yards or 250 or 60 passing yards. Not exactly 256 here. But I also... I also think Geno throws it at least one touchdown here, and I'm pretty sure you can guess who it's to, but we'll wait on that one. Let's move to Jameis Winston in Seattle. Seattle 17th overall against opposing quarterbacks. Jameis, $16,500 on FanDuel, $11,800 on DraftKings. Much like Geno Smith, I have uh, Jameis a few less completions here, but I do firmly believe he puts up just as much, if not a little bit more in terms of passing yards as Geno Smith. Uh, without a doubt, uh, Jameis throws a couple touchdowns. And again, keep grab a pen, keep track of the stuff, and we'll write it down. And then right at the end, final score prediction and my favorite uh, you know, showdown roster here. Let's talk about the running backs, and this is where it gets into what I said at the beginning. This game is going to go exactly how we think it's going to go. Alvin Kamara in Seattle. Seattle is a, a sieve in terms of giving up uh, opposing yardage to running backs. They're 30th. Overall, Alvin Kamara going to have one heck of a night. 16000 bucks on FanDuel, $12,800 on DraftKings. So safe to say, Alvin, 20, 20 to 21 total uh, carries in this one. 90 yards-ish, a touchdown on the ground, and then another four or five receptions. Four, 40 or 50 yards, and a touchdown reception here. So to me, that you, I always talk in these videos about getting sneaky and outlandish. But this one tonight uh, in Seattle, don't 
don't get cute, especially with Alvin Kamara. He is and should be everybody's captain or MVP spot. But then that's the thing. Free square, DFS buzzword and air quotes, and then we build elsewhere. If everyone's going to have uh, AK in the captain spot, we have to get different in our flex spots. Ty Montgomery, pass. Why even mention him? Alex Collins uh, hosting the Saints. Saints are eighth overall against opposing running backs. Alex Collins, twelve grand on FanDuel, $7,400 on DraftKings. Now, if you look around uh, on other different sites that provide DFS content, most folks are saying, you know what? Alex Collins, is uh, he's a fade tonight. And I'm telling you now, it's based on what the Saints do on the ground with their schemes, what they do in the box, and how they, they position their, their safeties and linebackers here. And again, given the slate, there's not a ton of, of, of studly uh, players going. Obviously, the Seattle Seahawks wide, or, yeah, wide receivers, but Alex Collins, I just don't see a way around him tonight uh, in, in, this, in a single game slate here. As I said, Collins, 12 grand on FanDuel, $7,400 on DraftKings. I have Collins for a healthy 14 or 15 carries 50 yards I do think he finds the touchdown on the ground but then you know most places I'm looking at about two to three receptions a little ambitious another 14 or 15 yards nothing crazy here now we get into the juicy part of the game here where we talk about Travis Homer or DJ Dallas let hang here and and let's discuss it we'll go over it briefly Travis Homer eight grand on FanDuel only two thousand four hundred dollars on DraftKings last week Homer only saw I believe three total touches in this one so he's not really on my radar everybody might kind of you know flock to him if you're going to fade Alex Collins as everybody's telling you to do what wh- where are you going to go do you even have to roster a Seattle running back sure why not and let's run with DJ Dallas nine grand on FanDuel only fifty two hundred dollars on DraftKings here again not a crazy workload I have DJ Dallas around two or three carries uh 10 15 yards two or three receptions for another 15 or 20 yards. So he's a nice kind of salary relief on DraftKings, and you hope all the three of those receptions come through for you there. Talk about the wide receivers. DK Metcalf, absolutely no way around him tonight. I know I said that with Alex Collins, but that's more loosely based when it's compared to DK Metcalf. Saints are 22nd overall against opposing wide receivers. 13-5 on FanDuel and even 10 grand on DraftKings and we're worth every bit of it. A, a healthy double-digit target share in this one. Catch hopefully six, maybe seven passes. 80 yards and a touchdown. I think that that's that's the lock of the day. DK Metcalf finding the end zone here. So what does that mean for Tyler Lockett? Uh, 11-5 on FanDuel, only nine grand on DraftKings. Seven, eight targets. Maybe he'll catch five or six of those passes. And, uh, and, and we go from there. Of the two Seattle wide receivers, I would prefer to roster both why not we have enough money to go around in this one so look at geno smith if you want to if this is one way you want to build do the seattle passing game attack with geno dk and tyler lockett freddie swain nothing special in the saints side of things in terms of wide receivers marcus calloway in seattle again seattle is 25th overall against opposing wide receivers calloway 10-5 on fanduel only 8600 dollars on DraftKings. here's another kid i i firmly believe sees five or six targets, catches four, maybe five of those uh, for about 60 yards, and he catches a touchdown pass too. So as it stands right now at this moment in time, as I'm broadcasting this, DK Metcalf and Marquez Calloway, both locks tonight in the single game slate. Kenny Stills, $5,500 $5,500 on FanDuel, $1,600 on DraftKings. Again, nothing crazy. Three targets, maybe he'll catch two of those, 30 yards. And if he finds the end zone, don't say uh, you, you didn't hear that anywhere because I, I, I do believe that uh, Stills finds the end zone here. Callaway, Stills, and uh, I, I take back what I said about Alvin. He'll find the end zone, but on the ground because I, I firmly don't believe Jameis Winston throws three touchdowns. But, hey, I'm working it out as I go in front of you here. The best way to live, I think. Uh, little Jordan Humphrey, little Jordan Humphrey sighting, five grand on FanDuel, only two hundred on DraftKings. Again, why even bother? Two, three targets, two receptions, ten, fifteen yards here. 
whatever. Uh, on DK, if you need some salary relief, you know you're going to go uh, Jameis Winston, Alvin Kamara, DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett. You might need to throw in a guy like Lil Jordan Humphrey for 200 bucks. And look, if he catches two passes, you, you know, he's hit value. He, he's absolutely hit his $200 value. Tight ends, uh, not much to see here. Gerald Everett, the Saints are fi- fifth overall against opposing tight ends. Everett, six grand on FanDuel, $4,400 on DraftKings. Four targets, three receptions, about 30 yards in this one. Again, why even bother? Will Disley, 6500 on FanDuel, $3,400 on DraftKings. Almost the same stat line as, as Everett here. Two targets, two receptions, 20 yards. Uh, Adam Troutman, uh, again, Seattle's 20th. I mean, Seattle is just... They're wide open. They let any and all offensive skill positions just gash them. They're 20th overall against opposing tight ends. Troutman been on a, a back of a milk cart and haven't seen him, but I know he plays a large portion of snaps, but he's there strictly to block. So uh, Adam Troutman, 5500 bucks on FanDuel, only $1,800 on DraftKings. And then if you want to get a little wild and separate yourself in some sort of you know multi-entry GPP, Look at Jawan Johnson, seven grand on FanDuel, twenty-two hundred dollars on DraftKings. Again, three, four targets, maybe max is out at three receptions for twenty-five. Ambitiously, maybe thirty yards in this one. Kickers. Jason Myers for the Saints. I don't know if he's related to Michael, but I'll ask him. It is the week of Halloween here. Jason, eighty-five hundred bucks on Fanduel, only four grand on DraftKings, and then Will Lutz slated to come off the IR this evening for the Saints here. Lutz, nine thousand five hundred dollars on Fanduel. Only $3,800 on DraftKings. If I had to choose, I would probably fade both of them just given given the matchup. And it's going to be nasty in Seattle tonight in terms of just, you know, foggy and, and cold and, and rainy. You know how Seattle is, especially this time of year. So I'm going to fade both kickers. Hopefully it works out with the other, you know, stud offensive skill position talent. I don't think it'll kill us. Let's talk about the defense briefly. Saints in Seattle. Seattle sixth overall in terms of giving up points to the opposing DST. Saints, 5800 bucks on FanDuel. And then the Seahawks DST on uh, DraftKings, $2,800. Of the two, I would probably choose the Saints just because their defense has been sneaky good so far this season. And they're starting to, to catch on with other folks. Folks across the the fantasy football community and in DFS circles and formats, given their price. And with with Seattle, or excuse me, with the Saints, it it all depends on what you think Geno Smith is going to do. Uh, maybe a, a touchdown or two, but does he turn the ball over? Does he throw an interception? I believe Geno Smith does throw an interception. The the, the thing that we have to gauge here is. Do the Saints take it to the house? Do the Saints do something special with the Geno Smith uh, interception here? So to me, uh, only defense I'd look at are the Saints here. Now, before we split, just a a little news and note here. Uh, Sean Payton, the New Orleans Saints head coach, in the length of uh, of his coaching career in New Orleans, he is 9-3 coming off a of bye week, so uh, there he it's, gets to take it easy. He didn't have to plan for Russ Wilson. It's Geno Smith. Obviously, head coaches, they, they tackle the slate, you know, game to game with the same energy that they always do, but it had to be a breath of fresh air for Sean Payton coming off a of bye week to maybe get that extra day of rest because there's no Russell Wilson here. So to me personally, final score, I think the Saints win uh, with ease about, by 10, 13 something points in this one. The final uh, here to me is about 31 to 17 in favor of the New Orleans Saints. So as I said, Kamara at MVP, DK Metcalf, Jawan Johnson, uh, Cal- Marquez Callaway, and then that last spl- spot you can toy with. You got enough cash to do whatever you want there. You could put in Alex Collins. You could make a duplicate lineup and swap Collins out for Tyler Lockett. So there's, in a way, this game, it, it's going to be fun because there's about five guys that we know are must starts and you can fit all of them in your lineup to me it's that last overall spot with the money we have left over we can mix and match i always like to build you know in a single game slate have three or four players that's my core and then i keep duplicating that same line and using that last roster spot as a turnstile getting in geno smith then getting in winston then we go down the line here so hopefully we have some success tonight thank you so much for watching just double check, go to Team Riser Fall, like, share, subscribe. Look at the graphic, $9.99 a week. 
only $29.99 a month or so. I wish you the best. Let's get together again this same time uh, on Thursday. We'll talk about Thursday night football. Until then, I will see you next time. Get your Halloween costumes ready because we're doing it this week. Bye.